I really hate this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation for the very first time. I've not used this before, I've not opened this, and I am very excited about trying this. So here we go. Okay guys, so like I said, today we are using the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. I got this from ASOS on Monday. Today's Saturday. I got this on Monday. No, I got this on Tuesday actually. This arrived on Tuesday. So I'm excited. Very excited. I got the shade 14 Neutral. I wasn't sure what shade to get. So I looked on foundation.com. I've spoken about foundation.com before and they recommended 14 Neutral. However, I think after I try this shade today, I'm gonna also get the 14 Cool because on some of the videos that I was seeing, the cool was coming out very warm and I feel like, I feel like I've got warm undertones. So we'll just have to see how this goes. But yeah, very excited. Before I get into using and everything, I'm just gonna run through some very quick facts that I have. So this, this foundation is £39. This is £39 really across the board. However, when I bought this, this was on offer. There was like 20, 25% off on ASOS. So I don't know how much I actually paid for this. Maybe like £30, £35. So they say this helps to improve the look of skin with each wear. This offers undetectable coverage. This is clinically proven to boost hydration by up to 166%. Skin looks plumper and smoother by up to 181%. And skin tone looks more even by up to 210%. And over 90% of users can attest to these results. This also helps to minimize the appearance of pores, reduces the appearance of pigmentation and dark spots. Ding, ding, ding. And this also makes skin appear instantly brighter, which is just what we need. What else does this say? This also offers a medium coverage. It's light as air. It's infused with hyaluronic acid and a brightening rose complex. You guys know I love me some rose, so anything with rose is a winner. And skin looks more beautiful instantly and over time for a healthy looking glow and a brighter, smoother looking complexion. I mean, what is there not to love about that? I don't know. I'm actually more nervous about the shading because usually I would go for a warm shade, but they didn't have any warm shades. So, yeah, <laughs> basically. Let me come in closer. Also, you can get this from Cult Beauty, ASOS, um, Sephora, Feel Unique, Charlotte Tilbury, all the places that you can get this from. I will have this linked down below in case you wanna check it out for yourself. And yeah, let's get into using. Okay, now these days, the thing that I like to do first is I like to put on the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I kind of use this as a concealer, kind of, but not as a concealer, because it doesn't actually conceal anything, but it gives a nice like brightening effect and it just makes your skin pop a lot more, so. Oh, also my skin is looking really good these days. If you guys wanna know what my skincare routine is, I will have that linked down below because things have been changing in terms of skincare around here. So I will just take this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just to brighten up my under eyes and then I'll just do like two stripes. Kind of make this up as I go along. <laughs> We do the sign of pie on my forehead. <laughs> Brilliant. I love that. Now I'm gonna get my beauty blend and setting spray. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Literally love this stuff so much. It's gonna saturate the sponge. And now guys, for the moment of truth, I am scared. I get scared when I try new products. You just never know how they're gonna come out. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, that is nice. Oh, that looks very nice. And the way it's come out is very nice. So just taking my wet sponge, I'm just gonna dab that on. Now for the moment of truth. Oh, wow. This is nice. The shade matches. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm into that. Can I bring you guys any closer so you can see? Like, wow. I'm literally very into that. Oh God. Listen, Charlotte Tilbury can actually do no wrong in my eyes. Like, look at that. The coverage isn't 100%, so I have to go over this a bit more, but the matching is pretty spot on. I kind of feel like I won't need to get the cool, but I wanna get the cool anyway, just to see how that will 
come out. So usually I would go with warm products, but this is looking really nice. I think for a neutral, this is not very neutral, <laughs> like at all. So if you're like me and you've been thinking about what shade to get and your dark skin like I am, because I think after 13, it, I think it's like 13, I think it's like 13 neutral and then it just goes up to like 14 neutral, 14 cool and they completely skip it out. So I think if you are kind of dark skinned like me and you're not sure, I feel like a 14 neutral would not be bad, but definitely check out foundation.com and see what they say and then compare it to this video and compare it to other foundations that you wear. To be fair, like I'm not, I'm trying to get more into foundation, but I'm not a foundation connoisseur, so I can't really help so much with foundation shades. Um, but you know, I'll actually link my foundation shades below in case that will be helpful to anyone because I know that's very helpful to me when I watch these kinds of videos. Oh wow, look at that. I much prefer the finish of this. Like this is very um, like dewy and like natural and it looks more skin-like whereas I feel like the Estee Lauder foundation that I've been using goes very, it's not cakey, but it just looks like I'm wearing makeup. And even though it looks like I'm wearing makeup now, but it's less like that. I'm just gonna like pop that on. Just for a bit more under eye pizzazz, you know? Blend that out a bit more. To get a bit more right under the eyes. Oh no, but that is very nice. Oh god, guys. Wow. I really hate this. I hate that I love this foundation because now it's like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Charlotte Tilbury. Amazing. That's a really nice finish. Okay. So that is, wow guys, that is amazing. Shit, what's the time? I gotta get a move on. Like, look at that. How, oh, that is literally amazing. Very nice. And you know what? This is 39 pounds well spent, not gonna lie. Look at that. Oh God, like that is super nice. Oh, I love it. And it just, the finish of this is very different to what I'm used to. This actually reminds me of the NYX Born to Glow foundation because that had a similar like, dewy glowy skin like finished Ooh, nice Do you know we're gonna see how this wears throughout the day in terms of hydration and a glowier complexion we're gonna see so i'm gonna check back in the evening after today wow 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 it's been a long time since i've used a foundation that has just been like this is amazing absolutely amazing okay let's move on <laughs> i will try and keep the rest of this makeup routine very brief so no Next, I'm going to set my under eyes using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so next I'm gonna set my under eyes using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop setting powder in the shade medium deep. My eyes get really watery because I've got dry eyes basically because I spend too much time on the computer. So to just help protect my makeup when I am out and about, because I will definitely tear up because my eyes are so dry whenever i go outside and outdoor air hits my eyes i literally start crying immediately and it always ruins my makeup so i mostly just set my under eyes just to help protect just to protect my face basically when i when i will eventually cry because my tear ducts are overactive because my eyes are very dry i could actually go out like this and it just looks like i'm not wearing makeup this is Next, I'm going to set my face using the It Cosmetics Your Skin For Better setting spray. Although I'm like, do I even need this? I'm like not even sure if I actually need this because this is supposed to be hydrating. Do you know what? I'm gonna actually skip this because I really wanna put this foundation to the test. So let me skip this for now. So the next we're gonna go onto brows. I've got my Glossier Boy brow in the color black. If you like a more natural brow finish, then this is what you need. Okay, brows are on, literally takes all of two seconds. Next, we're going on to mascara. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes in the color black. Give it a bit of a wiggle. This mascara is amazing. There is another Charlotte Tilbury mascara that I want to get. So I will add that to my wish list. Love this mascara, guys. This is the best mascara I've ever tried in my life. Lashes are done. Very cute. It's so funny because it's like the more and more that I do, it's like the more just this, it's literally my skin but better, like when I look at myself. Ooh, 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 that's so nice. I'm almost, I'm almost afraid to like put on blush because I don't want to ruin what we look like, but I would definitely put on a brush. 
blush. Wow. Okay, so for blush, if you've seen my recent makeup video, then you will know what we do for blush. We do a lot of things for blush. So I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury wands. We have two matte blush wands and then we have one beauty light wand. So the blush wands that I have, we have the colors Peach Pop and Dream Pop. And then we have the light wand in Pink Gasm. So let's pop them on. I think I want a more peachy look. So we do that. Then we will go in with Dream Pop beautiful and i love to do this kind of like we do alternating dots sometimes i'll do like four dots sometimes i'll do three dots and the next we have the pink gasm you can tell i literally use this so much it's literally decrepit because i want a bit more glow we're going to do two dots of this this is almost like the lazy way to do blush you put all of the colors on and then you blend it out together so i'm going to take my brush blend everything together you just see it just creates like a really nice like pink Ugh. if you guys didn't know i love the color pink pink is my favorite color so if i can do my makeup for pink i will take it let's put some on the nose and you just see how all of the colors together they've got a very nice like natural pink and then we have the shine on the top so this is my new blush routine and it's replaced the nars um, orgasm very nice look it's very natural subtle looking it's not that crazy and i think with the foundation looking as natural as it does it makes the blush look less crazy oh that's very cute this is a very cute everyday like pink makeup look i'm very into that oh no i'm like upset with how much i love this charlotte tilbury you dog oh that's so nice oh i feel sad do you ever get that when things look so nice and you just feel sad because I'm like, oh God, so beautiful. Okay, so that is that done. Next I'm going to, well really there's only two things left to do in this routine. So I'm gonna set my face. I'm gonna use the airbrush setting spray again. <laughs> That's a lot, why do I always do so much? Whew. I'm also going out today. I actually need to hurry because I've got like, 10 minutes before I need to leave the house and I haven't got dressed. Yeah, I'm actually going out today. I'm gonna to spend the day out and about, out and about in the city of London. So we will see how this wears. Um, I need the setting spray to cool down a little bit. So in the interim, I'm gonna go in with the Yora Lip Plump. Mm, this gives a very nice like glossy vibe. I look like a glazed donut. Is this not what we all want to look like? An actual glazed donut? Okay guys, so here we are. This is the finished makeup look. I love it. It's so funny because I'm looking at myself and it obviously you can time wearing makeup, but it doesn't look too crazy. I'm like, look, this is insane. Like I love it. And maybe it's because everything I've used is Charlotte Tilbury. I basically use like 90% Charlotte Tilbury products. So the face is looking very, it's looking very cohesive. I'm looking very natural. I feel like, ugh, I love it. I love it. And I love that it feels like my skin is coming through. I feel like I can still, obviously I can't see a lot of things. My dark spots, uneven skin tone is basically non-existent. But sorry, I keep looking at myself, I need to look at you guys. But I just, I really like it. I really like how my face looks. I love the feel of this foundation. It feels very nice already on the skin. It feels very lightweight. It almost feels like I'm wearing a tinted moisturizer. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing foundation. And I think if I'm to compare this, I only really have one other foundation to compare this with, but, but if I compare this to the Estee Lauder foundation, things the Estee Lauder foundation isn't thick. It's not heavy. It doesn't feel bad on the skin, but it's just got a different, vibe and maybe because that is actually a matte foundation whereas this charlotte tilbury foundation isn't matte so it's just that is the only like chemical difference between the two but i like i love this this is very nice and 
I am going to keep on buying this. I know I said I was gonna think about getting the 14 Cool, but I actually think 14 Neutral is pretty good. I might, maybe for the summertime, I might get 14 Cool because like I said, on a lot of the YouTube videos that I was watching, 14 Cool actually looked quite warm. So I think maybe when I'm on holiday or when it's the summertime, I want to look a bit more like holiday babe, glowy, you know, that kind of vibe. This is really good. I am shocked and I love like the match. It's it's really good, really good. I'm looking forward to seeing how this will wear throughout the day. I'm curious to see if this will get darker throughout the day or if it will stay the shade. But also the seamlessness of it. Oh, it's really nice. It's really nice. Oh, it's really good. Anyway, so final thoughts on this. So I think this is amazing. First off, I love it. I've been wearing this for about 20 minutes and I love it so far. So I will check in with you guys later on and um, yeah, so I guess for now, I will see you in a bit. Hi guys, hi guys, I'm back. Wow, I literally look like I've been through the ringer. So it is, what is the time? So it's currently 20 past five. So I, Jesus, I literally look ridiculous. So I have come back, like I said, I have gone out and let's talk about this foundation really quickly. First, I'm gonna come in so we can see what the face looks like. Guys, I'm so flustered right now. It looks good, the coverage is still there. My makeup looks <laughs> impeccable, not gonna lie. Really love how my makeup came out today. Okay, so apart from my hair that has literally just gone completely haywire, I feel like we are doing okay. So even though I've only worn this for about, I'd say like six hours, I think I finished putting on foundation around 11. So it's been about like, six hours I would say. So as we can see, coverage is still there, face is still there. I'm looking very shiny, but I have been running, climbing flights of stairs. It's very hot. I've been doing a lot of stuff basically, but this is what the face looks like. Also bear in mind that I have dry, dehydrated, normal-ish kind of skin. So, so this is kind of what the shine situation is. After six hours, we are doing okay. I can imagine that after a long day at work, I come home, I'll look relatively similar to this. I love this foundation, it is so good. My face has not felt dry at all. Usually these days when I'm doing my makeup, I tend to set my foundation using that It Cosmetics Your Face Look Better setting spray, but for the sake of really putting this foundation to the test today, I did not do that. And my face has felt really good throughout the day. My face was amazing, it feels really hydrated, really nice. It didn't feel congested at all today. Didn't feel like I had anything on my face at all throughout the day. Like I said in the morning, it does feel like I'm wearing tinted moisturizer because it's the, that it's that light and it's that nice on the skin like it just feels really nice I can't even I'm looking at myself and I literally can't even believe what I look like I look really good one thing that I said I wanted to keep an eye out for is whether this foundation would get darker throughout the day and I feel like it's almost matching my skin better if you could say well sorry guys I'm looking at myself and I'm like I look like I've been through it but yeah I just feel like it matches my skin tone a lot more now that I've had it on throughout the day. You can really see like my neck and stuff like it's matching a lot more. I don't know how long they say this is supposed to last for, but um, yeah, I love this. I also love that the foundation is in like a squeezy tube. It just feels, it feels fun. It feels different, something different. I think, I know at the beginning I said I wanted to try the 14C that I said I didn't want to, but now I want to try the 14C just to see how that will come out on my skin and to see if it really is warmer. But I think for all intents and purposes, this is a fantastic shade. The match is amazing. As you can see, I don't really look too crazy. I love how natural this looks on the face. So it's like you're wearing makeup, but you're not really wearing too much makeup. And just for the overall pink look, I'm obsessed. I love it. I really love it. I feel like this is a great, great, great foundation and a great time to try out. Can't wait to wear this to work and to see how this really does throughout the day. And I can't wait to create more makeup looks using this and to fall deeper and deeper into the Charlotte Tilbury rabbit hole. I'm really knee deep. If you guys have tried this foundation, please do comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. I think it will also be really helpful to other people who come across this video because I feel like complexion products are very 
they're very particular and I feel like you need a lot more help looking for the correct complexion product. So if you have tried this, please do comment down your own experiences down below because that would be really helpful. Okay guys, so that's all for me in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. As always, every product that I use in today's video will be linked down below in case you want to check anything out. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and in the meantime, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.